Why do you want to know? Who are you? Who are you? Hey, I'm the sheriff. Okay? Like, like the sheriff? I'm the sheriff. What's your name? Huh? What's, What's your name? Am I being detained? No, you're not being detained. Okay, so can I know who I'm speaking with? Since uh, you're the government employee and not can, me. Can, can I know who I'm speaking with? Just call me good citizen. Okay, I'm good citizen. My name is Sheriff Black. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How long have you been the sheriff? What? Why, why are you? Why are you videoing the place? Just, just videoing. Okay. Is that a crime? No, it's not a crime. Oh. Just, just curious. All right. So, how long have you been the sheriff for? Since January of 2019. Is that like a position that you you get elected by the yes. people? Yes. Oh well, congratulations. Thank you on that. Um, what are your plans for uh, to to keep this uh, city uh, safe? No, we we've been working on a lot of different things. Just just lo lo lots of plans, um, lots of uh, lots of activities, everything to uh, to try to enforce the law. Um, biggest thing we have is is our uh, our government. Our government doesn't uh, doesn't think we need to be enforcing the laws. Our government thinks that everybody needs to get out of jail free. You know? So that's, that's. Would you rather have people in jail? Uh, if they deserve it, yes, I would. What do you think about the What do you think of What do you think about the marijuana laws over here? Do you agree with them, or is it something that you have to enforce uh, and you really don't like about it? Well, and, and see, basically, it, 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 it's opened up. We don't have to enforce marijuana laws unless it's a huge amount, you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean, for, like, personal use. I mean, yeah. like, for, like, you know, I see I, I see that you guys have dispensaries and stuff in New Mexico. And, oh, yeah. And, and if you're not from here, it's, it's kind of weird, you yeah. know? Yeah, To come to a place where you could just, you know, want... That's why I say, man, we're the United States, but we kind of, like ununited if you really think about it because yeah, yeah. we are a divided across, community Big you, you drive an hour from here or something and then you're complete different laws and everything you're yeah. in, <laughs> so so what's up can you show us around uh, well i'm on the phone right now with one of my cadets at the academy in, in santa fe so i need to attend to this business right quick okay we'll wait for you bro yeah uh, well let me let me see how the how long this takes I, all right i need to work on this all right okay. You see any men in black? No. I know. What do you I don't think, think they exist. You don't think so? Oh, okay. No. What about what about the Roswell the crash? Major? That that exists though. The Roswell crash, 1947. I don't know. Oh, want me to hold the door for you? There you go. Are you a cop? See those? Yeah. This is like a this is like a probably a black site. You see, every, everybody's wearing regular uniforms. Hey, brother. John Jett, Ontario County Sheriff's Office. I'm just wondering, it's kind of unusual to have somebody going through my parking lot looking through all the vehicles. <laughs> so it's rather suspicious. We're trying to figure out what's going on. How is it suspicious? It's suspicious anytime I see somebody going through around all the vehicles. Why? Because that's just the nature of the business I'm in, sir. <laughs> well, I, I, I know exactly what business we're in. This is public property, you know. Most it, assuredly it, it should, is, sir. It should be okay for us to If you're know. in anybody's parking lot and you're looking into everybody's vehicle as you walk through, that raises a little bit of suspicion. It doesn't make it illegal, sir. If I go to but a private... I have a, I, have a, I have a duty to ensure that you guys are on the up and up. Oh, uh, okay. All right. That's all so, it is. So what's the, what's the procedure now? The procedure is nothing. I'm just trying to see if you guys are out here exercising your rights as an American and you're filming inside of all these vehicles. We're just, just filming, brother. Okay, good enough. Good what do you? Enough. What's your name? Sean Jett. I'm the under sheriff, the Otero County Sheriff's Office. Can you show us around? Can you show you around? <laughs> you're you're walking around. It's free. No, I'm talking about like in the building. No, sir. I'm not gonna allow you in the building. Why? 
You have a good day. No, but, but it's a restricted building, sir. The, I'm, bro, show me the, the it area. It is restricted. That I, that's fine. Restricted. But I'm asking that to, means that it is a secured facility. You cannot come in unless you have reason to come in. I'm just asking to see the areas that we're allowed to. The front lobby, sir. Come on in. I'll, I'll show you the front lobby. Thank you, sir. Let me ask you a question. You betcha. Um, do you know anything about the Third Amendment? A little bit. Educate me on the Third Amendment, sir. Okay, this is the front lobby of the building here? Front lobby. We come to this portion of the building. Uh, we have direct access to dispatch in the event that you need any services. Uh, we have front office staff here that can assist you with any paperwork. Oh, I, any he's, not, that you might he's not front office staff. That's the sheriff. Well, yes, it is. So, I know, I know the guy. He got elected by the people. Okay. Anyways, there you go. This is the portion of it that you can freely access. That's open to the public. Let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. Do you guys, um, what's the law over here in New Mexico when it comes to releasing public records? Yeah. If, uh, how? How All you have to do is file an IPRA. Uh, so you turn in a uh, request to the county administration office. It's under IPRA and we'll process it through there. Do you guys release internal affairs and completed investigations, like the outcome? Absolutely not, sir. Not? Absolutely not, not unless we're compelled to do so by a judge. What's, well, how are you guys any different from the people? If anybody gets arrested, whether they're innocent well, so you're or you're asking legal questions, and I would strongly urge you, I would well, refer you to well, the legal counsel, which yeah, is, but this is the county attorney. Yeah, but this is a, this is a policy that you, as a, you guys as a police department are, are, are using to protect yourself from us finding out about, you know, when you guys get in trouble. Well, I understand I mean, that you get in trouble what you're trying everywhere. to spend on social media, but that is not the fact. It There's is, a whole bunch of legal questions that you're bringing up that's way above my pay grade. It's not, no, it's, it's not illegal. It is, sir. It, well, it is, you but you guys, you guys have to tell us why you get in trouble. That's our that's our thing. You know, it's not a secret. It is reportable. It's real simple. It's called Giglio, Brady, and all those things are there. You said they are there. You said to you, you said that it's not released to the public. No, we do not release internal Why? affairs to the public unless we are compelled to do so by a court. We finance this entire operation. I'm not here to argue. But uh, neither am no, I. But apparently we have to. I'm trying to be, you know, somewhat helpful to you to figure out what's going on. And the only reason that prompted well, you to come out and have contact with you is I have people walking through my parking lot looking. This is not your vehicles. parking lot, sir. This is the people's parking lot. You go into any you guys parking lot. By this. You look into everybody's vehicle. That's private place. Okay. That's a private place. Uh, private place. Private have a good day, sir. Public place. Share your information with the public. You guys are hiding information. You're acting suspicious. Yes. And there's thousands You're of You're acting people. suspicious. Yes. Oh, no. Any reasonable person who is to see somebody going through a parking lot looking into vehicles, that is suspicious, sir. In any culture. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Only to you is it not, sir. It's not. Have a good day. Enjoy your walk of shame. Enjoy your walk of shame. Uh, the Third Amendment is no soldiers in my home. I bet you didn't know that either. Never heard of walk, walk away. Insane.